in brightest day, in blackest night, a new live action Green Lantern series is coming to HBO Max. You know that doesn't rhyme, right? I don't care, I'm too hyped for rhyming. We finally getting a Green Lantern show. The new show was announced at the Warner Media Day alongside some other DC projects like a Strange Adventures anthology series featuring numerous DC characters and a half hour comedy produced by Elizabeth Banks called DC Superhero High. Cool, but back to the Green Lantern series. It's coming from Greg Berlanti, who is a bit of a controversial figure among Green Lantern fans. He was one of the writers of the Ryan Reynolds movie script that has gone down as one of the worst superhero movies of all time. But he has since earned some serious superhero cred by spearheading the Arrowverse shows, including Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow. Not to mention he's producing Titans and Doom Patrol on DC Universe. There was no word on whether this Green Lantern show will be connected to the Arrowverse, but it certainly is a possibility. Fans have long theorized that Arrow character John Diggle could become a Green Lantern, and his stepfather's last name is Stewart, so maybe they'll get their wish and he'll play the role of Green Lantern John Stewart in this new show. Now, Berlanti was tight-lipped on details about the Green Lantern show, saying in a statement, quote, in what promises to be our biggest DC show ever made, we will be going to space with a Green Lantern television series, but I can't reveal any more about that just yet. It's important to point out that the show is being described as a Green Lantern inspired series. That could mean any number of things. The show might not even be called Green Lantern. Wait, what? Perhaps it'll focus on DC's space characters and Green Lantern Hal Jordan will be the main character as they explore the cosmos Star Trek style. Wait a minute, Star Trek? Maybe it'll be based on the Omega Men series, which is one of DC's best comics in the past several years, that starred Green Lantern Kyle Rayner as he joined up with a group of alien freedom fighters. Okay, you might be onto something. Oh, and maybe a buddy cop series spotlighting two of the newer Green Lanterns, Simon Boz and Jessica Cruz. Well, you know what, I'm sold! Whatever direction they end up going in, if they do this show right, it could eventually lead to the Sinestro Corps War, and then they introduce all the different colored lanterns across the emotional spectrum into the War of Light, and then we get undead space zombies that can invade in Blackest Night. <laughs> You've certainly given this a lot of thought. Now, that would certainly help it live up to being DC's biggest show ever. Now, there was no word on how this new series will affect the previously announced Green Lantern Corps movie written and produced by Jeff Johns. We haven't heard anything about that movie in a long time, so it's possible this new show will essentially be taking its place. Then again, the show was described as only being inspired by Green Lantern, so that could leave room for a proper Green Lantern Corps movie to coexist alongside it. So what do you guys think of the Green Lantern series? I'm very excited. Uh, oh, okay. Very, very I, excited. Look, look, we know that. What do you think of the news? Let us know in the comment section down below. And for more news from IGN Now, check out why the Game of Thrones showrunners are no longer doing their Star Wars trilogy and the reveal of a new Superman and Lois show. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want more news from IGN, then be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you like to watch. See you next time. All right. Sweet. Up top. Ugh.